Hi everyone and welcome back. I'm Abby. I'm here with Brandon and Ian from the Technical Evangelism team and today we'll be talking about uh, what is cloud computing. Uh, so Ian, can you start us off and, and tell us a little bit about cloud computing? Sure. Uh, back in the old days when we wanted to build and operate technology infrastructure, uh, we would have uh, computer rooms or we used to call them machine rooms or even entire buildings filled with hardware, filled with servers, filled with networking equipment, uh, filled with storage infrastructure. All uh, physical equipment that you needed to run apps. And today, uh, you can access all of those uh, infrastructure resources from the cloud, uh, creating these resources within uh, cloud computing providers like Amazon Web Services, and then using those resources to build and run your application. So it allows you to operate technology without having to build and own technology. So can you speak to some of the advantages that I gain by moving over from kind of the traditional way of doing things to, to running with cloud computing? Sure. So there's a few advantages. Uh, the first one is agility, right? When you don't have to spend time provisioning, ordering servers, installing them, updating operating systems, and all of those things that you used to have to do manually, it gives you a lot more time to focus on the things that actually make your business different. So if you're uh, Zynga, you need to spend your time building games. Uh, the cloud enables you to do that. You can run more experiments more quickly and turn off these uh, servers if they end up not working out. Uh, additionally, you get a lot more capability, right? You get things like AWS Lambda, which allow you to build uh, serverless applications. So there's just a lot of breadth of capabilities that you would have to develop yourself if you were running your own on-premises solutions. I think for two, for me too, it's the the ability to try new things in a way that's that's easier for me, so that I can try out something like machine learning or containerization without having to kind of do all of the legwork myself. Mm -hmm. I can manage that service with AWS. Yeah, one of the one of the big differences here is that you don't really have to plan. You know, if you decide that you want to try something on a Tuesday, by the end of the day on a Tuesday, you can have got access to the resources, done the experiment figured out whether it's going to work or not and either built on that success or torn that experiment down and tried something different. There's no lead time. You just hit our console, which is our web-based web access, to create the resources that you need or use one of our APIs or one of the other tools we have and you can create those resources immediately without having to place a PO and order the equipment, wait to have it shipped, build it in your data center and install all the software. So it's just much quicker and more flexible than, than how we used to do things. So how can I go out trying out AWS or an AWS service? Yeah, so we have a free tier that gives you some runway to get started and try out some of these services and start experimenting building uh, on top of the cloud right now. And to get started, you go to aws.amazon.com slash free and follow the directions there and you'll be up and running in no time. Awesome. Well, guys, thank you for joining me and we will see you all next time.